What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kuda Malloy here coming at you with another exciting video. So how do I cook tri-tip and lamb to perfection? Lamb chop, lamb shoulder, tri-tip, steaks, you name it. This is the same technique I do on the barbecue. So what I do is turn on the barbecue, get it up to about medium heat, like medium flames, right? Because think about it, barbecue, open flame, you want to char the meat. So if you notice, I just put some scorch marks all around the lamb. This is lamb shoulder, I believe, cut up into little chops. Then this was tri-tip. So the tri-tip, what I did was I cut it up into three pieces and then seasoned everything. So salt and pepper on the lamb, salt and pepper on the tri-tip, you get the idea. While the lamb was cooking and flaring up, did the same thing with the tri-tip. So I got the tri-tip nice and charred on the outside. And you're going to sit there and go, well, how do you know it's done or whatever? The trick is after I get the char marks on the tri-tip, I put the cooked lamb and the cooked tri-tip into a bowl. I cover the bowl with like a plate or tinfoil or whatever and let it sit in the bowl for at least 10 minutes. 15 minutes, 20 minutes would be even better. Your meat's just going to get more and more done. So when I take it off the barbecue and I put it in the bowl for 10 minutes, it comes out this beautiful pink, medium rare. And the juiciness, look at that. Oh, look at that juiciness right there. So after 10 minutes, I take it out of the bowl and then slice it up nice and thin little slices, as you can see right there. And that's my trick. One thing that you could do that I like to do is I like to make a little sauce for it a dip, whatever you want to call it. What I put in here was red wine vinegar, some olive oil, some pepper, a little bit of salt, just a little bit, because remember the meat's already salted and seasoned. Then what I do is I put some slices of red onion and a couple cloves of garlic that have been sliced up pretty fine and just a little bit of mint. See the mint in there? Let that sit while your meat is sitting in the bowl for that 10 minutes. Like you should be able to make this and let it marinate and kind of do its thing. When everything's all cut up and ready to go, I throw everything into there or I put the marinade or the, not the marinade, sorry, but the sauce all over everything else. It's delicious. It's salty. It's tangy. It's sour. It's savory because of the juices of the meat. Oh my God, it's delicious. Just so unbelievably delicious. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you all on the next exciting video. Oh, and check out the description section for some links to some pretty cool products. But that's how I cook meat to perfection on the barbecue. Char marks, bowl for 10 minutes, covered, take it out, serve it, ready to go. And there you go.